Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. Today we're taking a look at a black green energy deck which features a ton of cards from Kaladesh Remastered and one of the centerpieces of the deck is a Winding Constrictor which not only works with plus one plus one counters but also synergizes with energy counters so whenever we would get a plus one counter or an energy counter we get one additional of those counters so works quite nicely with a lot of different cards in the deck and another important addition is a Glint's Leaf Siphoner a two mana two one with menace and whenever the Siphoner enters a battlefield or attacks we get one energy counter and at the beginning of our upkeep we can spend two energy in order to draw a card at the cost of one life so it can provide a lot of card advantage and then taking a look at the rest of the deck at one mana we get to play with some of the most efficient cards in the format with lanor elves providing mana acceleration a tune with ether searches up a basic land and gives us two energy we get thought seize as cheap hand disruption and fatal push as a cheap spot removal spell then at two mana besides constrictor and siphoner we also have two copies of long tusk cub a 2-2 creature that whenever it deals combat damage to a player it gives us two energy and we can pay two energy to put a plus one plus one counter on long tusk cub so especially synergy stick with a winding constrictor in play as now we get three energy whenever the cub deals damage and we can spend two energy to put two plus one plus one counters on it then we also have two copies of scavenging ooze giving us main deck graveyard hate can help offset the life loss from siphoner and also gets plus one plus one counters to synergize with our winding constrictor then at three mana we've got two copies of rishkar a two two creature that when it enters a battlefield lets us put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures so a great follow-up to a turn two constrictor and each creature with a plus one counter on it can also tap for green mana and then we've got two copies of maelstrom pulse as a catch-all removal spell can potentially deal with multiple of the same card as well and two copies of ether sphere harvester a 3-5 flying vehicle with crew one so we can even crew it with a lanor elves still making it useful in late game and when harvester enters the battlefield we get two energy and we can pay one energy to give harvester lifelink until end of turn so it shines especially against the red aggressive decks then at four mana we've got three copies of vivian argbo ranger one of the more important cards in the deck starts out at four loyal and the plus one distributes two plus one plus one counters among up to two target creatures so it's a little bit different from Rishkar which forces us to target two different creatures Vivian potentially puts two counters on the same creature as well and then they also gain a trample until end of turn and then the minus three gives us access to a bit of removal and the minus five which we can reach after two turns already lets us reveal any creature from the sideboard and put it into our hand so we've got 15 sideboard cards despite playing in best of one that we can potentially search up with Vivian which will go over in just a second and then at five mana we've got two copies of verger's gear hulk a 4-4 artifact creature with trample and when gear hulk enters a battlefield we can distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures we control but if we do happen to have a winding constrictor in play it's usually beneficial to spread out those counters as much as possible because then we'll get more additional counters thanks to winding constrictor and then going over the mana base, two copies of Fabled Passage, which can search up a basic land and also enables a revolt for Fatal Push. Four copies of Aetherhub, usually want to wait as long as possible to play Aetherhub in case we find a Winding Constrictor, so we get one additional energy from Aetherhub. Then four copies of Overgrown Tomb, which is untapped at the cost of two life. Blooming Marsh is untapped if it's one of our first three lands. And then three Forest and three Swamps to search up with Fabled Passage and a Tomb with Aether. And one Castle Lochthwain as an additional card draw engine. And then going over the sideboard that we can access with Vivian, of course, very customizable. One card I don't have at the moment that I wish I had is an extra copy of Verger's Gear Hulk, because it can be quite nice if we happen to have a Winding Constrictor in play. But then we have one Brain Maggot as Hand Disruption, Scavenging Ooze as more Graveyard Hate, Reclamation Sage to deal with artifacts and enchantments, Chupacabra as removal, Bristling Hydra as another energy creature that can gain Hexproof, Gem Racer another way to deal with artifacts and enchantments and give us a Reach creature, Questing Beast can take out Planeswalkers, Shifting Ceratops against the blue decks, Massacre Girl can be a sweeper, Elder Gargroth great against red decks, we've got Thrag Tusk if we need to gain 5 life on the spot, Demon of Dark Schemes can also give everything minus 2 minus 2 and works nicely with energy, Kogla can fight stuff and take out artifacts and enchantments, Thorn Mammoth gives us a repeatable fight effect, and Crater Hoof Behemoth can end the game if we have 8 mana. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a nice opening hand. Turn 1 Elves, and then turn 2 I can attune, get a Swamp, and then maybe play Siphoner. 
Waste not so opponent on a discard deck, so developing my mana is extremely important in this type of matchup. So Siphoner can help me hit my land drops. Probably discarding Gearhawk here if they make me discard and just keep the cheaper cards that we can deploy more easily. Liliana Steward and a Thoughtseize. So next turn I can play Constrictor before attacking with a Siphoner to get one additional energy. Although my opponent will get a Zombie here, so they will be able to double block Siphoner. Harvester could be great, and another Elves. So Constrictor attack doesn't seem great since they can double block. I could trade for Steward, but I have Harvester which can gain energy with a Siphoner. Which is also pretty neat. So I think this turn, just gonna go Constrictor plus another Elves. And then next turn, I can maybe play Harvester to give me more energy. Opponent makes me discard, we'll get rid of Long Tusk Cub. Falmar Knight lets the opponent draw. And another Steward. And then we'll get another Swamp since we've got double Elves for green mana. Alright, Rishkar. So, I can go Constrictor into Rishkar, but then I'll be one mana short of playing Harvester. But it is pretty strong. Alternatively, I can just go Constrictor into Harvester and get a ton of energy, which can draw more cards with a Siphoner. Yeah, that seems better. And that can also help fly over all these zombies. So Rishkar down. Another steward. And a Lord of the Accursed, pumping all zombies by one. But they still don't have a good attack because of Harvester. Alright, so we're both in top deck mode, my opponent does have a castle. But we have a Siphoner, so it's pretty even at the moment. Vivian's excellent. Thoughtseize, not so much. Uh, I might still cast a Thoughtseize just to get it out of my hand, so they can't make me discard it with Waste Knot. But for now, play Vivian. And I might Crew Harvester. Or I can just take out the Lord. Killing the Lord might be more important. Because uh, the menace ability means my Vivian's gonna be under siege. Although plusing with double constrictor is quite appealing as well. If I want to kill the Lord, I will have to crew Harvester. Which means I'll lose an extra blocker, so then I'll be left with only two blockers. Which means Vivian is most certainly gonna go down. So maybe the play is just to Crew Harvester and then plus Vivian. And then we've got a 6-8 Harvester, which probably wants to stay on defense for now. And then all Thought sees the opponents just to get the Thoughtseize out of my hand. And then I can activate Lord of the Accursed to give their zombies menace and take out Vivian, but we'll get to eat one of their zombies. 
and still have a giant harvester. Opponent draws with castle. So they can still activate Lord now. Alright. So Vivian's gonna go down. And then I could gain six. I think I would rather save my energy for Siphoner. I've seen too many species die already. Another constrictor and a tune, perfect. So play constrictor first, then a tune. Get forest. And then we're still empty handed. Which means the opponent's waste knot's not going to be as effective. And now I can probably afford to get in there with the harvester. And do I attack with anything else? I guess uh, Siphoner can attack too. And get me a bunch of energy. And that should leave back enough blockers. Zero points at seven. Another waste knot. And a death baron, so plus one plus one and death touch to everything now. But the harvester is making it very difficult for the opponent to race. And yeah, there we go. So quickly managed to empty our hands by developing our mana with the tune and Lanor Elves. And then Harvester being pretty important here to help us draw more with the Siphoner and eventually fly over for the win. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Turn 1 Elves, turn 2 probably go Cub plus another Elves. And then Constrictor can come into play before the Cub potentially hits the opponents. Opponent on Monorads with a turn one Lava Runner, so I'm sure the Elves is going to be toast here in a second. So, what are the better cards against Monorads? Scavenging Ooze, Aether Sphere Harvester, and then generally just putting big creatures in play with Winding Constrictor. So, I could go double Elves if I shock myself, I could play Cub. Could play Constrictor. Constrictor has the highest chance of surviving and maybe blocking the Lava Runner. So I think that's a play. And then next turn, I might play the Cub instead. Ooh, Rishkar. It's probably worth it to play Rishkar at the cost of two life here. And then I'll play another Elves afterwards. That can block Lava Runner, Elves can trade for Pyromancer. A Light of the Stage finds Firebrand and another Light of the Stage. Which kills elves. Ooh, Vivian. Vivian's good. So do we want to play Vivian this turn or go Cub Elves first? Alright, my opponent explodes, so I guess they've had enough. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a very simple hand, double constrictor, double gearhulk. 
Getting to 5 mana is going to be a little challenging, but if we ever get there with double constrictor in play, it's going to be over very quickly, so I'll keep. And then, of course, any other energy or plus one counter synergies we find along the way will be great. A third constrictor, so turn 2 winding constrictor, turn 3 winding constrictor, turn 4 winding constrictor. Opponent on blue green with a turn 2 spiral, but no extra land. So next turn we get to go Constrictor plus Thought Seize, no real need to do it now. Another Growth Spiral. Alright, so they must have drawn two lands in a row, and an Explorer. And another lands. Interesting, did they maybe just forget to put a land in play last turn? Could be. Might as well attack. Although I expect my opponent to block here. Have a look. Alright, Uro, Ugin, Tamyo. That's a problematic hand. If I... take Ugin, then I can just get it back with Tamyo. And of course Uro, also pretty close to getting escaped. I think taking Tamyo makes sense, because it means... It's more difficult for the opponent to escape Uro, and time is also very good once it's in play because it prevents future discard spells. And yeah, we'll just have to hopefully kill the opponent before they get to 8 mana for Ugin. Alright, opponent draws another Taimyo right away. So Uro is going to get escaped pretty soon. Maelstrom Pulse, okay. Could just kill Tamyo. Doesn't take away the fact that my opponent still has an Uro that they can soon escape as well. But killing Tamyo might still be worth it. Could save my Pulse for Ugin, but if Ugin comes down and minuses, it's already too late. So I think the play is Pulse Tamyo. Attack could also pulse a grazer, but then Tamiya will still be at two, which is kind of annoying. My research has been compromised. And then hope to draw an untapped land for Gearhulk so we can start applying more pressure. So there's land six. And 7, which will scry towards land 8. Alright, so my opponent has access to Ugin next turn. And there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Alright, it was a tap line, so we still get one turn here before Ugin comes down, but they do get to escape Uro in the meantime. I have learned little here. So, gotta hope to draw Thoughtsees. Well, there it is. And a Vivian. Definitely gonna Thoughtsees here before it's too late. Nissa still a problem, but definitely gotta take the Ugin first. No great attacks. And yeah, then uh, we can maybe start putting counters everywhere and try and go over the top. This is a big Hydroid Crisis. So there's my land for Gearhulk. Hulk. 
and then each counter is essentially four counters, so we get to add 16 power and toughness. Still leaves my constrictors short of attacking into Hydroid. But uh can make a big gear hulk. If I put two counters on Siphoner, it's essentially five counters. So then I would be able to trade for Krasis. There's Nissa. And another Hydroid. Into a Grazer. Yeah, that's gonna make it very difficult. Can kill one Krasis with Vivian, don't even get to draw with a Siphoner here. Another Constrictor. Well, we drew all Constrictors. So, I mean, I can play another Constrictor, Vivian, plus to get as much Trample damage as possible, but my opponent has 12 plus another 6, 18, 21 Toughness. And I don't think I'm dealing 43 damage here even with all these extra counters. So that's pretty much game. So this is our Hail Mary. We got them to five. GG's. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a nice opening hand. Turn one Lanor Elves into either Rishkar or maybe Siphoner plus Fatal Push. Facing a Jagatha deck and a Castle Lochthwain could be maybe a Jun Sacrifice deck. Yeah, I think I like Rishkar here. Make it more likely we can play Vivian next turn. Don't have any extra energy to go with the Siphoner, so I won't get to draw cards right away. So let's just develop our mana. Red black into a priest of forgotten gods. All right, so we get to have a very efficient turn. Push the priests, play Vivian. I love everything from deer to dice. And my opponent explodes. Yeah, turn to concession. Opponent's just super far behind. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Turn one elves, turn to a tune plus another elves, and then can run out Vivian. Turn one mountain, no play, could be goblins. Nope, mindstone, so some sort of ramp deck. So we'll attune for forests. And I guess we can double 
Elves here, or I could play Siphoner to draw extra cards. But I kind of like developing my mana and hope they don't have a sweeper here. Chandra. It's gonna plus. And a Heart of Kiron can play defense. Alright, Maelstrom Pulse just takes out Chandra, I suppose. And then we can still play Siphoner. Yeah, Vivian doesn't do a whole lot here on this board. And then we want to start drawing cards. Acolyte of Flame can still crew the Heart of Kiron. So it looks like our points on Chandra Tribal. Find your fires of passion within. At least Harvester can block Heart of Kiron reasonably well. Fatal Push, also excellent. Alright, so I think we're gonna have a nice turn here. So I can send... I guess I need to send three creatures at Chandra, have them crew Heart of Kiron. I guess I can send two creatures at Chandra. One Elf, one Siphoner. Hope they crew Heart of Kiron. If they don't, I could still play Vivian afterwards to finish off Chandra and have Fatal push up. So I think that works. So let's go to Combots. Send these to a Chandra. Heart of Kiron gets crewed, and then before blocks we want to Fatal Push it. And then Chandra dies because he had to use one loyalty to crew the heart. And I still get to play Vivian. And then... Probably just want to spread out the wealth a little bit. Or I could try and get one creature big enough so it might survive a sweeper, but most sweepers will be 3 damage, which I can't really save my creatures from. We're fit enough to survive. A braid kills Siphoner. And Magma Spray kills Elves. That's fine. Thoughtseize, perfect draw here too. Double Chandra Acolyte of Flame. So, play Harvester. Don't hate crewing the Harvester and putting counters there with Vivian. Although, getting an Elves above 3 toughness could also be nice. Although, I guess they're stuck on 4 mana. Yeah, you know what, let's crew the Harvester and just put my counters there as a kind of a safer investment. And pass it back. They do have a braid in the graveyard that they might be able to flash back with Acolyte of Flame. But we've got a second Harvester. Pwn goes for Magma Spray to kill the Elves instead. Yeah, I like to think I'm a Thoughtseize can have another look. And then we'll just crew and make a bigger harvester here. And at some point Vivian could also minus, get something out of the sideboard, maybe even something to blow up the 
Mindstone, who knows. So yeah, we managed to answer the Chandra tribal deck nicely, thanks to Fatal Push, killing the Harvester was pretty key as well. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. A tune gets swamped, so Castle comes into play untapped. Constrictor into Rishkar is a good start. Although a turn one Soul Warden is kind of something I want to deal with as soon as possible. So I might want to just push it now. We'll wait to see what they play. If they play a Pride Mate, maybe I kill the Pride Mate instead. It does mean my turn three might be awkward if I don't draw another untapped land. Alright, let's just push the Soul Warden. And by saving the attune, I can also potentially make my Winding Constrictor produce one extra energy. Picked up a Lenor Elves. So I think I still play Constrictor because the upside of drawing an untapped land for Rishkar next turn is pretty big. And if not, I still get to play attune and Elves. And if I do find a land, I can play Rishkar and then with the Constrictor, maybe even play the Elves afterwards. So against the Mono White Life Gain deck, it's not an easy matchup since they can produce some very large creatures very quickly with cards like Heliots, add encounters everywhere, and the Johnny's Pride Mate. Found Overgrown Tomb, so that's a great draw. Play Rishkar. Could also just start attacking with the Constrictor instead of playing the Elves. But getting to play Gearhulk next turn is tempting. And now with Overgrown Tomb, Castle's untapped as well. Heliot turns into a creature. And yeah, triple Linden triggers means they can grow their creatures quite a bit. Only Heliod attacks. So it's a bit of an arms race at the moment to try and make the largest creature possible. So how do we spread out the counters? I would like one large creature that can block Heliod, but if they attack with everyone, they get to make Heliod into a 9-9. And if I spread out the counters, we get more value from Constrictor. So maybe I just do one each. And then I could still attune, but I probably want to save my uh, blockers here. Do I attack? I mean, attacking wouldn't be the worst idea. It's just that I'm taking a lot of damage on the way back. It's mostly that we want to keep the opponent below 30, so Ascendant doesn't turn into a flyer. Yeah, I guess we will. Pride Mate shows up. And another Ascendant. And we'll take six. Hmm. Yeah, not really loving my chances here, I'll be honest. I can attune, get a swamp, and then start activating my castle. But I'm not sure what I'm hoping to draw. And next turn Heliod can give stuff lifelink as well, make it a nightmare for me to block. Can chump with the elves. Yeah, I probably just have to pass a turn. Maybe activate castle end of turn. 
don't have any clean answers for Heliod. That's the main problem here. Alsaid can give something protection from green. And that will be game. So I think their play should be to make Heliod's protection from green, so I can't kill it with like a fatal push if I somehow had one in hand. Uh, they're gonna go for a bigger attack. Yeah, this game seems pretty over. I can uh, eat Linden, double block, Sarah Ascendance, chump, Pride Mates, but uh, it's still gonna leave me in a pretty bad spot. At one life, so I won't be able to use Castle. Is this the play? Could double block Pride Mate instead. I guess double block Pride Mate hope to draw Maelstrom Pulse, but they still have Alsade in play. So I guess I can also just protect one of the creatures that are getting blocked. Sure. And then Constrictor isn't put in harm's way since that's our more valuable creature at this point. Yeah, not sure how uh, I'm supposed to get out of this mess. Hope my opponent uses the Alsaid incorrectly. We top deck Maelstrom Pulse, kill double Sarah Ascendance. The opponent's devotion falls below 5. So heal it is no longer a creature. But that's a bit of a stretch. They did tap out, so no Alsaid available. So, yeah, I mean, if I top deck Maelstrom Pulse here. Kill both Sarah Ascendants. Still maybe have a chance. Come on, Maelstrom Pulse. Ah, oh, a tune. So close. Let's see if we would have drawn it with Castle. Nope. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a very nice hand. Turn on Elves, turn two, even have Ether Hub to go with Siphoner to draw extra cards right away. Maybe turn three, Vivian. Facing Botanical Sanctum. Uh, I guess, yeah, this doesn't quite work the way I intended since we need to, of course, play the Swamp to play Siphoner if we don't want to waste any energy, but that's all right. This only would have worked if our forest also produced black mana, which does come up quite often between Blooming Marsh and Overgrown Tomb. All right, uh, Vivian it is. And then, yeah, I'll just put two counters on Siphoner, I think. The Elves is probably going to be tapping for mana or crewing Harvester in the foreseeable future. Might see a turn to Growth Spiral. Cunning Nightbonder. Alright, that was unexpected. So maybe a blue-green flash deck. Attacks Vivian. So they could potentially already have a Night Pack Ambusher. Although some nice top decks here. So how about... Don't really want to pulse the Nightbonder. Could play Cub, see if they have a response. Mm, 
And then we'll plus. And the I Siphoner's Menace. Grown. And play Harvester. Alright, if there is the Gross Peril now. Into another Night Bonder. Alright, we've got a Harvester. A nice energy storage here. Cub can grow up to a 5-5. Five five. Siphoner can draw cards. No attacks. Back up Siphoner. Can start by crewing, plusing Vivian. And attack with all. Pulse could also kill both Night Bonders, but I don't think I need to main phase anything here. When we have Fatal Push, we can play it instant speed. Especially if they try and double block. Alright, they have a Torrential Gearhawk for 4 mana thanks to double Night Bonder. Fair enough. Gets back, Grow Spiral. So I can pump the cub twice, and that should be game here. Unless I've got another instance. And yeah, my opponent explodes. Fatal push killing the Night Bonder also would have done it since we would have trampled over. So yeah, pretty nice aggressive start with Vivian, Harvester to diversify our threats a little bit, and Siphoner to draw extra cards. So overall, I've been enjoying playing this Golgari Energy quite a bit. Kind of fills the role of a mid-range deck in the format, similar to maybe the Soltai decks, without having to play Uro and Nissa. So it's a nice change of pace. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.